Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So it is a brand new week this week, I hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas, wishing you all a happy new year. I am still on holiday right now in real time until Wednesday, so on Wednesday you're going to see some changes, I'm going to have a new cloth on going to change the picture behind me to bring in the energy of 2022 and I'm also going to be making some announcements about the Learn Tarot series that I'm doing and about memberships too. So check out Wednesday, it's going to be a powerful energy. But for today on this magical Monday, I'm going to bring in the Crystal Angel Oracle and the Soulmate Romance cards. And these are the cards I used for the horoscope readings. Very powerful energy. So what do we need to know on this new week? So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, today for the connection? What's the energy, please, for the connection? There we go. The energy for the Divine Feminines. The energy for the Divine Feminines. What do we need to know? And the energy around the Divine Masculine. What's coming in around the Masculine? Wow, a few cards coming off for there. The energy around the connection, thank you angels. The energy around the divine feminines today and another one there and the energy around the divine masculine, wow. Okay, and it'll be really interesting if, you know, you've watched your sign for this week and then you get the card because it will be an extra repetitive parrot sign for you. So the energy of this day then and this coming week too, we've got Rhodochrosite. It says be gentle with yourself. So You've moved into a new year. You know, we're in a brand new week. Be gentle with yourself. If you've had a busy time, you know, if you've been running around, ease yourself back in gently. And that's why I'm taking it easy Monday and Tuesday, easing back in gently, kicking in properly on Wednesday. Maybe that's what you're doing too. You know, you're easing yourself back in gently. Maybe you're taking down all your decorations. You're tidying up, you're hoovering the home, you're clearing the clutter out, you're getting rid of what needs to go. It says you've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. So you've been through a lot and so is your twin. You've had a very hectic December. It's been crazy energy, up and down, highs and lows, karmic endings, karmic situations, things being resolved. So be very gentle at this time and send love out. You know, you've got the heart space opening there as well. Send love out. Be in the energy of love. Be kind. So if you see deers today, deers, you know, beautiful. I've got one here. Beautiful deers. I mean, this is like a baby stag, but, you know, little deers. It's a sign to have compassion, to be kind, to be loving. That's the energy of the divine feminine, you know, to have that kindness and that nurturing element about you. And we've got, when I'm alone, I think of so many things to say to you. So when you're having alone time today, you're thinking about them, they're thinking about you. You're wanting to communicate. And when I have a chance to tell you, I go speechless. So your masculine is saying to you still, you still make me speechless. You still make me freeze up a little bit because you overpower me and overwhelm me with your love. So there's this definite energy that they want to speak to you but they may still be speechless. They may still not be able to communicate because they're still easing themselves in gently. You know, they need to be respected a little bit today for what they've been through. You know, and you've been respected too. You know, I'm showing that to you right now. The angels are very proud of you and you've been reminded to give yourself credit for what you've achieved, but also to remember that you've both achieved things. You've both got through the Christmas period and they've been miserable, they've been sad, they've been in pain and they've stuck it out. So he's saying to you now, when I'm alone and I feel he's got alone time today, he's thinking, even if he's back at work, he's thinking, Okay, he may be going in the loo, he may be having time to himself, he's thinking about you. When I'm alone, I think of so many things to say to you. So there's so much still to say, there's so many things still to discuss. There's so many conversations yet to be had, so don't think it's over, because it's just beginning. It's just speechless today, so this is the day to be kind to yourself. So from the masculine perspective, we've got appetite. And I love this, you know, whether this is pronounced appetite or appetite, 
He has an appetite for you. He's hungry for you. He wants you. He knows what he wants. It says progress, not perfection. Progress, not perfection. So he doesn't need to be perfect, but he is working and happening forward. So he's making progress to you. It says don't compare yourself to others. And that's the message coming through from him to you. Don't compare yourself to his karmic partner or anyone else in his life because nobody and nothing compares to you. Nothing can hold a torch to you because you are the sunlight and the power. It says release judgment of yourself. Instead, focus on love and how far you've come and all that you've learned. So that really kind of reiterates the message that we've just said. Be proud of your twin, how far he's come, everything he's learned, everything he's done. Release judgment because it might not be perfect right now, but it is progress. It is happening behind the scenes. It is taking place, even if you're not really aware of that right now. So be proud of where he's, where he's come from and what he's doing. We've got distance means so little when someone means the world to you and you are the special one for me. So he's saying to you, no matter what distance is between us, whether that's an ocean in the way, physical distance or emotional distance, you are and always will be the one for me. You are special to me. And distance means so little when we're, we're, we're connecting and feeling each other. You mean the world to me. So in other words, separation is illusion. He's saying to you, I try not to miss you. I try to let go of you, but in the end, you're always on my mind. So he can't forget you. He can't move on. He can't let go, even if he's tried to do that. You know, especially around Christmas time, trying to get involved in what he was doing. He hasn't been able to forget you. He's saying you're always on my mind. Very powerful. We ignore each other, but deep down, we both know it wasn't supposed to end like this. So, you know, you may be ignoring each other. Or well, you may have ignored each other over Christmas time, but it's not meant to be like that. It's not over. It's just beginning. So if you've been ignoring him, if he's been ignoring you, it's illusion. It's separation. It's not forever. And he's saying to you that a separation is coming to an end. And if you start to miss me a little, remember, I didn't walk away. You let me go. So I feel that's what he's dealing with. Okay. He's dealing with the fact that you know, you didn't walk away, he walked away from you, or he seemed to let you go, and he's saying, I haven't let you go, we have so much to discuss and talk about, there's so much to do, there's so much left to do, so he's missing you, and you're in your mind saying, well, remember, I wasn't the one that created that distance, I wasn't the one that created that separation, you were, and he has to forgive himself for that, for you, Divine Feminine, we've got Aqua Aura, says healthy communication and relationship. So the communication is being restored to a healthy communication, not something back and forth or in and out or something that drains you or takes up your time. Heart to heart discussions and clear assertive communication helps you to understand and be understood. So they're giving me fear. So this is what's coming in. Releasing of the fear around communication. When's it going to happen? When's he going to open up to me? The angels are saying to you, be gentle with yourself right now. It's all happening in divine timing. Oh my God, I feel like I'm waiting for something or someone who isn't going to happen. And this makes me sad. So feminines, ease into this week. Ease into this new beginning. Ease into this fresh start because he's speechless right now. He's still dealing with all the pain and the struggle over what happened in December. And he needs to ease himself in gently to come towards you, even though he will. So don't feel sad today. Feel excited about the magical future ahead. And I love the feeling I get when I'm thinking about you. I hope you feel the same way about me. So replace any doubt with faith. You know, if you're thinking about him and you're wondering if he feels the same, he does. And he's letting you know that today. Even if he's ignored you, if you've ignored him, if he seems to have walked away, it's not over, it's just the new beginning coming in. And we've got topaz, forgiveness heal. So feminines forgive. Forgive 2021. You're now in 2022. It's fresh energy, it's mission energy, it's power. 
Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. So you may feel very angry that he's still with his karmic partner or he didn't tell you he loved you on Christmas Day or he wasn't there for you at New Year. Release it now. Don't hold on to that. It will just build up and hurt you. And we've got emerald. And emerald's about healing energy with Raphael. Ceremonies and celebration. It's so it's a time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. Well, the life passage is this new year. We're in the first week of January. It's an important life passage because it's the year of mission that we've entered into. So ease yourself in gently. That's the message coming through today. You don't have to rush. You don't have to fight for anything today. You don't have to pressure or make something happen. Just be in the now. And that's going to move everything where it's meant to be. So be gentle with yourself today, like the deer. So if you see deers today or any kind of gentle creatures, big sign to let go, to breathe, to take a deep breath in and exhale to come back into the now and be proud of what your masculine has achieved throughout December and what he will achieve as we move ahead because he's going to come to you, he's going to open up to you, he's going to have healthy communication with you and tell you how he feels and he's got all these feelings inside of him but he's just a little bit speechless right now because he needs a little bit of time to adjust. I hope this helps, have a great day and I'll see you soon.